there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we're doing another episode of Retro with Will Coffee. Hey, what's up? Because I feel old as shit, like Danny Glover and every leaf of weapon fellow. I too am getting too old for this shit. You're getting too old for playing this shit oh, because yeah. your reaction times are dropping like a rock. <laughs> the, um, you had to make it personal. I'm not. Make it personal. I didn't make it personal. I'm just saying we all, we all get slower as we get older. Yep. We are, like, no matter, that's the reason why none of us enjoy playing first person shooters as much as we did whenever, like, in our late teens and our 20s. Times. Reaction times are down. We just don't care as much. <laughs> we, we just don't need that win. No. But um, if anything, thing, we, we, we actually embrace the, the warmth of death, you know, <laughs> for our characters. You know, for our characters, you know. Yeah. So, um, well, in that embracement, we're actually embracing the nostalgia of old and we're playing some old classic games. That are available on many, many platforms, many consoles, and we decided in this particular case, it's going to be the PS3, and it's going to be Sega games tonight. Oh, yeah. Because uh, Will played a little bit of Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know if you guys saw that cha- episode. You should go and check it out. It is available for you all to watch and enjoy in the archives. I, I recommend I it. It is absolutely glorious. I don't apologize for my swearing. <laughs> you don't apologize for swearing. We're no. literally just, we're literally just chatting about how how we keep out control of our language in this, and we're making this child friendly, and we're trying to actually make this a family show. <laughs> he said, "Censorship's not going to work, man. I'm not going to do any edits." Well, what so, can I, what can I say about a family friendly atmosphere that we have here? I mean, incest, the game the entire family can play. <laughs> Moving on, <laughs> uh, the uh, game we're playing today is Sonic Two. Uh, uh, also, from Mega Drive. also warning mature content. Yeah, it's already been done. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sonic 2, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, you're based originally on the Mega Drive 16 bit console era. Make sure to throw it on there and actually get the game off and rolling. Um, these Sega classic games were actually done in a package deal by the Sega Mega Collection on PlayStation 3, but a lot of them were actually given out as uh, vintage games and just um, they, they were given out individually as part of the PS Plus back in the early days of it. And it was really surprising at the time because the games were just, uh, they're, they are quintessential classics of our childhood. Hey. And it was well worth checking out at the time. Oh, it didn't do it. Well, oh, the Sega, no, it's because yeah. it's not actually the logo. It's I the, don't know. Uh, so, the Sega Vintage Collection, uh, we're going to be doing a few of these. Wait for it. Oh, yeah. That was a nice crisp one. That was a nice crisp one. I actually like that one. Um, oh, of course, remember the same thing. Go into the options, menu screen, go to the size and the So, um, Sonic 2, massive I departure. Did it over? Did it? Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, the Sonic Collection, I might, okay, I could have done that as well myself at some point. Um, yeah, well, that's true. The Sonic Collection, uh, Sonic 2, we, there's, there's a game that we're going to play in this, yes. that, uh, and play in the series that comes before this. Sonic CD actually takes place chronologically before Sonic 2. Um, why, so, Sega? Why? Why did you have to do that? Because it literally did come out, the Mega CD came out before Sonic 2 came out, so it was just, uh, at the timing, of Sonic CD was like the big release for, huh. it was actually the sequel of Sonic. Well. I'm gonna hit start here. Yeah, Single player. Okay. Um, play as Sonic and Tails. Yeah, plays both. Why is that? Why? Uh, oh, because you get free hits of Tails hits things as well. Sorry. Remember, this was like the quintessential little brother mode. Remember, because we played it one player and just handed player two the controller, and he was in, impossible to kill. He was just there. He just never ever died. Never went away. He would just like slowly come back after dying. Like, see, he just reappears. Tails is truly the most invincible superhero of them all. What do they call you, Teals? Why is that ringing Why is that ringing through to me for something? Why do they call you Teals? No, I don't know. Teals? You know why he's called Teals, right? The two Teals. Yes. <laughs> just making sure. No, <laughs> just, I think I actually thought that well, was. Well, they were going to call him something which. else, but I figured you know they couldn't call him two. They couldn't call him Dex because he has two dicks. Well, he's um he's actually called Miles Teals Prowler. Prowler, really? Prowler, Miles Prowler. I like that. Teals is his nickname. Wonder way. He goes yeah. helicopter. Which is like biologically Son makes no sense. A... Even if he had two tails, it still makes no sense. <laughs> because literally they would twist around each other and then it's where they have to actually like keep on going back and forth in every direction. That makes sense. Ah it's... you fucking dick. <laughs> and bounces you back the other way. Uh... At least it was considered enough to do that. No! <laughs> I tried to jump that one. So you remember you have the spin dash in this where you can press down and the, your jump button and it'll actually allow you to speed up and then boost if you don't have the momentum that you need. How do you know where you're going? Ah, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. I was going to say, like, <laughs> are you going to boost right into a place where you don't know where you're going? <laughs> Just yes. to test that out. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Maybe. Tuck all the bags of dicks. <laughs> Alright, man, seriously, the amount that you bring it up, 
I'm assuming you want people to do so? Well, yeah, plus I make Archer. <laughs> Act 1 complete! Woo! Peace sign, fuck off and die. Well, also, 2. Yeah, that's just <laughs> a coincidence. <laughs> There's too many coincidences in this game, like, there's no way they could actually be fact. <laughs> it's, 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 those are, those are, that's false news, that's false facts. False facts, you heard it here first. Well, I, I, man, I'm trying to give informative facts as we go along here with the Sonic series. I will give every false fact a chance. <laughs> so, there was, um, the battle mode in Sonic 2, the split screen battle mode, which was then brought back for Sonic 3 as well, was actually a very late addition to the game. With the intention was that uh, literally there would be no multiplayer, even though they had tails in it. Yeah. Uh, because they don't, the multiplayer yeah. only covers for like certain parts of the levels. The um, addition of tails as a partner, I think at one point was because of. Yeah, throw, oh, you jump through. Oh, no, no, you're not going to go through the, the bonus life. You know, I was going to say the bonus world too late now. That's life partner? Uh, yeah, this is the first boss. Because I was going to say like only two acts. Um, uh, ah! Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Shut up, you get entertained by this. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll bring it up one more time. Suck all the bags of dicks. The, um... Originally, Tails was actually be part of a Sonic racing game. You want to get Tails? Because that's how you get Tails. Yeah. It was originally meant to be a part of a Sonic racing game. But it was going to be done really in the early days of the Sonic game, where I think it was actually uh, vehicles for a lot of the racers, and Sonic himself would actually have been on foot. Uh, which is kind of like what they did with a game called Sonic R much later on in the life cycle of Sega. I think it was Sonic originally R. made for the Sonic R. Oh, Sonic R. Right. Yeah. Sonic what Racing. Sonic R? I was like, what the fuck? Uh, no, Sonic R, Sonic Racing. And it was a um, racing game that actually had no vehicles. It was Sonic and Tails and everybody else was running on foot in a foot race against each other and essentially racing around tracks based on levels from uh, Sonic games. The absolute stupidity of that concept is fucking give me brain damage. But then the, uh, later on, a more successful game was made of Sonic All-Stars Transformed, which was a racing game where Sonic is in a car, which, be, like, which makes less sense, if you think about it. I mean, yeah, a, a from, one not from sense. a marketing standpoint, it's like Marvel uh, when they make toys. Yeah. Let's, let's give uh, Iron Man and the Hulk and Spider-Man a fucking quad bike. Yeah, the, sp the spider Why? bike. The spider bike and the spider copter. <laughs> I mean, of Why? course he needs one, because Batman has them. Uh, no, Batman has better versions of those. <laughs> but that's the thing, Batman has versions of those. Everybody else doesn't have those, so they're all made up by whatever marketing arm decides, like, let's get a motorcycle and slap Wolverine's face on the front of it. <laughs> or the Magneto car, which actually has, like, little magnetic panels on the side to hold on to things, but there's no things to come up with to hold on to, so you're literally just, like, putting random fridge magnets to the side of your car. <laughs> yes, yes, believe me, I remember getting that toy, and I wasn't annoyed, I was happy to have the toy, I was delighted, because I actually said you use them as, like, break up cars that actually would be smashed around by superheroes. But God damn all of the shit. It was unnecessary marketing applied. Oh yeah. You're actually fine through, um, like previously with Sonic the Hedgehog, because the original game, it was three act structure. It was act one, act two, and then boss. You notice that was act one, act two, and the boss really arrives at the end of act two. Yeah. Because um, they, people were concerned, wanted Sonic to be faster, and that three act structure was actually slowing down the gameplay. Because there, most of the levels before a boss and the act threes of those levels, or in the original Sonic game, um, were, they weren't unnecessary, but they literally were an additional level that was half the length of a full level, then a boss at the end of it. So they oh. just removed that structure from this, where you had Sonic Act 1, Act 2, and the boss at the end of Act 2. That was funny, this is actually calm me down from the first time. <laughs> well, it's, a, it's because it's a much more relaxing game, I imagine. Yeah. Plus you got here in Chemical Plant Zone in the background, which is one of the chillest tunes in the entire world. Oh, well. Um, the thing is, you do remember what happens in the chemical plant zone? No. You oh. Don't. Oh fuck. I remember. I remember. I <laughs> See, remember this that it. will squash you to shit. And what happens whenever you're getting further into the chemical plant zone? Hey, you gotta die a lot. It's gonna get complicated. Yep. Let's look forward to seeing that. Does <laughs> not. I know there's a way back down there. Well, no, you have to leave the screen, come back in for it to reset. But you want to go up to the right? Uh oh. <laughs> Don't you tell me what to do? I'll do what I want. You have to leave the screen and come back. No, I can leave the screen uh... and come back. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can do that. <laughs> 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 
Maybe yeah. while you do the gaming the shows with me. Because <laughs> <laughs> they, they are unbelievably entertaining to do. No, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Don't know what the fuck I'm going to do now. <laughs> go back down here, and then run back to the left. Up, and to the left. Up, and to the left. And now you've abandoned Tails back there. Are you going to fucking choke on a dick? Ha ha! The only runner! Just as a good cock! Oh! You know you can wiggle whenever you're inside those to try and get out as well. Oh, cat. Alright, oh, yeah, sure. Um... Hey, that was weird. And what? The timing of it? Yeah. And I <laughs> took my shield. Ah, well, that's because you had to win this wheel up and you just got the shield. Uh, as long as I can keep my coins, I don't, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'll just be lucky that you had the shield then. <laughs> runny, runny, run, run! No, the, um, the Sonic series um, never really got as quick feeling as this. At points in uh, from from this point onwards, like yeah. Sonic Three was a very good game, but actually didn't feel fast. Uh, it felt fast in sections. There was purposeful bits where you had to do a lot of running, but these like long sloping parts. These like, where you literally run off the screen perfectly timed. Thank you, fucking amazing, <laughs> great, love you game for doing that. But where you actually get the point where you literally <laughs> run faster than the world can carry you doesn't really happen in any Sonic games after this point. Uh, and the closest that ever came to that particular style of gameplay yeah, was uh, Sonic Rush. Yeah. Out of curiosity, will that water kill me? Yes. Great. Stay away from the water. And of course it closes but Fuck off! Do you remember this? Do you remember this now? Uh... Boop. Boop. Fuck yeah. off. <laughs> Tails, breathe for me! No! No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> This song that just makes me happy about this. Why wouldn't Tails fly up, grab some air as well, come down and kiss Sonic? <laughs> give you a kiss of life. I'm not even gonna go that way. You have to? Ah, uh, fuck off, do I? <laughs> yes. Was there not a thing where. No. You can look up or down? Yeah, if you hold up. Someone is gonna do it. <laughs> right, it's so can I not do that to no. the right? You have to go to the left. Uh, uh, no! No, 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 no! And now you're actually going against the time while you've got to get back to that bit where you climb. Remember, bubbles of water on the ground. Oh, no, man. Bubbles of water in the ground are actually like how you get your health or air back, but you don't have any, so. You've got a time limit. <laughs> yep, I can hear the fucking thing. Take it away! Uh. <laughs> that sound, that impending <laughs> sound of death, is actually one of the most terrifying things in video game history. Yeah, I just seen the blue thing and thought, oh, that's great. No, it's fucking not. The yellow is the Bye, grind. Tails. Uh, the floor is lava. The floor is lava. <laughs> oh, you're on! You know what's gonna happen. No! <laughs> you gotta go. Okay, just you gotta die. go fast, man. Just die. You gotta go fast. I'm just gonna let him die. You can still make it. No, I can't. Yes, you can. Please don't make it. Okay. <laughs> don't, go. don't use my lead. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Okay, come on, come on, come on! Ah, oh, shit, 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 he's dead, he's dead. No, oh, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, dead. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Welcome the... back to the beginning of Chemical Plants. Okay? Yeah, but because of the mix, though, it's such a chill death. <laughs> Except for that one noise. <laughs> There's going to be a way to avoid that water completely. <laughs> There's no way to avoid that water. That tunnel is actually a standard part of the game, no matter what. Like everybody hits it, but it's actually it teaches you timing, speed, control, accuracy. Really? No, it teaches me there is to avoid having a fucking heart attack at the age of 31. <laughs> well, that's the, thing. the thing is, man, you meant to learn that lesson back when you were 12. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's a bit too late now to be learning that lesson. A little bit. Let's see if we can recreate that spider scene again. No, let's go through the level faster uh, than that. <laughs> fine. Fine, let's do everything you want to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of thing is that? <laughs> yes. Uh. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever.
ever noticed it, but I think it's not random, but I think it actually has like how many rings you have or something that actually affects which one of those tubes you go down. So I think there's multiple routes you can go through chemical plant zone. That was weird. I glitched a wee bit. I don't think you took this route the last time, did you? Mm, no. No, I didn't! No, I didn't! And so, we begin again. <laughs> okay, so what's the, uh, what's the old uh, time there? <laughs> 15 minutes. We're hitting 15 minutes? Yes, we've hit 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you go straight to the floor again as well. <laughs> uh, you have to boost up that one. Yeah. Oh, wait. Right. Uh. Yeah. Oh, what's your chance? Just not quite. You didn't do the loop around? No. You did at some point. Well, I'd say at some point. I'd say in like five minutes, I'm going to hand you this controller. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I just give up completely and I'm done. I'm done. I'm just fucking done. <laughs> find out who invented Sonic and then let me find out what his Twitter handle is. Yuji Naka. Okay, has he got a Twitter so I can tell him? Yes, he does. does. Okay. <laughs> Yuji Naka has a very active Twitter and he responds to people. Well, that should be interesting. <laughs> I will probably tag him in this video so that he has, you have a few words for him. I actually read an interview today that actually involved Yuji Naka. It so was... I have less coins this time. You think it's going to send me somewhere else? This looks like it's sent me somewhere else? Yep. Uh... So um, there was an interview I was about reading today that actually had, um, it was the former head of Sega of America. Uh, this would have been back in, I think this was the late, late 16 or early 32-bit era, like before the PlayStation and all. And there was actually, the head of Sega of America was trying to explain to the heads of departments in Japan, which would have been Yuji Naka, uh, which was Sonic Team, yeah. and a couple of the other heads that were actually like great producers for Sonic games. And um, wait, here, comes, here comes my brain aneurysm now. Oh, from I didn't do, wait, go, go through the wee jumper. Bing. Wait, oh. Go for bonus level. Oh. Getting killed. <laughs> you remember this? I forgot about this. Mm -hmm. I think I played this separately as a separate game at one point. Um, it was in, if you put Sonic and Knuckles into Sonic 1 or Sonic 2, you got like a bunch of these levels, I think. Yeah, for a second there, I thought it was Tails. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Remember, you have to get all the rings. Ah! Yeah. Otherwise, it just ends. <laughs> Wait, does this put me back in that? Put you exactly where that bow stop point was. <laughs> With no rings. But you use the rings to get in. Jesus Christ, you see this bastard? Oh, it usually puts you right next to. Oh, to thank God, TLC. It puts you right next to the rings. That's not going to pop down, it opens because you were standing there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, it's a one-way door. The, um, right, so during this interview, it was the head of Sega of America having conversations with um, a number of the heads. All the way now. Yes, okay. but a number of heads of Sega of Japan. Um, the, all the different heads that they were actually having a conversation with. Uh, essentially, it was a video he was showing them that they had done uh, market uh -oh. testing for... Oh, come on, come on, come on! Jump up, jump. There you go, jump out of the water. <laughs> You have to jump. You have to, just have to go across this now without hitting the spikes. Yeah, you can do a big jump. It's just it's a very slow. See, okay. and get your extra life. Yeah, that's that was. I'm gonna try there now. And now go back left quickly before you run out of air. Yeah, I know. And then jump straight up that way. You should be able. To, no, 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 not there. Just jump straight up and try and hit the bouncer up there, and it might pull you back out of the water. No, I did. Just jump straight up. No, no, no I'm not gonna glitch. That's what you're gonna need. Thanks. Let me get, well, get up to the left as far as you can. Oh, there we go. Happy days. Uh, so, um, during there, the... Minute, there's one thing I remember about the game. If you stand really... There you go. Do you know what he does if he's supersonic? No. He leans, <laughs> he leans <laughs> further over the edge and crosses his arms and looks down. A, like, just like a badass. <laughs> what a fucking... Yeah, bad, a badass. Yeah. yeah, that's what he's going for. Edgy bastard. Uh, so, what I was saying, <laughs> there was an interview with uh, Yuji Naka, uh, or sorry, with the head, former head of Sega of America, uh, who had a conversation with Yuji Naka and a bunch of other guys about how much Sega was being seen as the granddaddy, like the old, the old man of <laughs> gaming because they hadn't made anything cool or cool, interesting in a while. And um, it was actually done by a focus testing. They actually had a focus test of like 17 to 20 year olds and said you asked them like, what are their, what, if you had, could describe every gaming company, 
as a, a relative, what relative would they be? <laughs> really? Yeah. And uh, essentially, uh, Nintendo was described as dad. Uh, Rockstar was referred to as the drunk uncle. What was Rockstar? Uh, Rockstar makes GTA. Uh, Rockstar was referred to as the drunk uncle, the guy who shows up at the party, has a great time, but then you don't see him for long periods of time because he just disappears off the face of the planet. The drunk uncle. Yeah. Um, and then whatever they referred to Sega, the Sega was like granddad. Granddad was the guy who was ca- he was cool in the past. He was cool at one point, but do- even he doesn't remember why he was. Cool. <laughs> really? That's <laughs> deadly. That's what they referred to as Sega, and the se- head of Sega of America showed that to Yuji Naka and a series of guys from um, Sega in Japan, Sega of Japan. And in the end, up they got up and said, "That's preposterous! You made that up." Like nobody actually, nobody actually would say that about us. And um, essentially insulted the head of Sega of America. The head of Sega of America said, "You're telling me I lied? I made I made this video to make you look bad, right? How about this?" And turned to Yuji Naka and said, "Fuck you!" And <laughs> Yuji, uh, uh-huh. Yuji Jones was sat there. Ah! Yuji Naka, um, Yuji Naka speaking Japanese, not that much English. He required a translator to explain to him what. The guy had just said, and the guy turned to this translator and said, tell him. And he was like, oh, there is uh, no word in Japanese for uh, fuck you. And then the guy looked at the translator and went, no, there is. Go fuck yourself. And then walked out of the room and quit Sega. <laughs> he was the head of Sega of America and just went, I'm done. I'm done. Again. If you're going to call me a liar for trying to help your asses, I'm done. And then he retired and left him. Do you know who he ended up, he, he, what, he, what he ended up doing afterwards? Owning Microsoft. No, he was head of development for for the Xbox 360. Oh, that wasn't too far off. Yeah, no, he didn't own Microsoft. It's not Bill Gates. <laughs> but I mean, essentially, he was one of the heads of development for uh, Xbox 360. Oh, I finally got through that. Yeah. So, I think we're... I think we're <laughs> yeah. You done? Yeah, yeah. You done. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching um, <laughs> Sonic 2. I was trying to tell a story there for a long period of time, but um, with uh, a variety of things happening, we, we finally made it through the chemical plant zone. If you enjoyed this gameplay here on... <laughs> that, that broke me. That, that, that water broke me. I forgot about that. He drowned in that water. If you enjoyed our gameplay of Song 2, the story that I've been telling, that I can remember from development hell of these games, uh, feel free to actually hit the subscribe button, quoting right over the top of my head. And if you want to see more stuff from this channel, more stuff that I've made, uh, we've made over the last year and a half, and years previous even, you can actually go up and hit the program list up there in the corner. That actually has like playlists, and it has a video recommended just for you, based on the content that we make, that you might oh, actually yeah. enjoy. So feel free to check it out and see it. But uh, until then, I will see all you dudes on the next console. Bye. Bye.